Do you want to start submitting programs to be run on the cluster? Do you want to begin using CURC's hardware to support your research? Hi, my name is Trevor Hall, and I'm a member of the University of Colorado's Research Computing User Support Team. In this video, I will introduce the basics of Linux job submission, discuss CURC's hardware offerings, and demonstrate how to submit a job. Follow along as we discuss jobs on CU Research Computing. First, let's define a job. A job is any process running on a computer or cluster to perform. A job can load software, import packages, run programs or scripts, generate output, and more. In order to run a script, compile a program, or utilize a piece of software, you'll want to do so as part of a job. There are multiple types of jobs. The most common is a batch job. Batch jobs are jobs submitted to the cluster to be run in the background when resources are available. Once you've submitted a batch job, the cluster will place your job into a priority queue and run it when the resources are available. The second type of job is an interactive job. Interactive jobs are meant for users who want to run or troubleshoot programs in real time on the command line. Before submitting your first job, it may be useful to know what hardware you'd like to run your job on. The Alpine cluster is heterogeneous, meaning that not every node is the same. Different nodes with different offerings and configurations are grouped into partitions. Alpine has four partitions available to users for standard batch jobs. Amelon, our CPU-only partition, AMI100, our AMD GPU partition, AA100, our NVIDIA GPU partition, and AMEM, our high memory partition. Depending on your needs, you will need to choose the correct partition for your job. You can find more information about our partitions in our documentation. In order to submit a batch job, you'll need to create a shell script. A shell script requests the resources necessary for the job and provides instructions to the cluster for running your job successfully. Let's hop into a terminal environment and examine a shell script now. Our example shell script is called myfirstjob.sh. The first element of a shell script is the shebang. The shebang tells the cluster which shell to use. For this job, we will be using bash. The next portion consists of slurm directives, which request the resources needed to run your job. In order to indicate that these are slurm directives, you must lead each line with sbatch. For this job, we will be running on one node with one core for five minutes on the Amelon partition. We will also write any output of this job to myfirstjob.out. Next, any required software or modules will need to be imported. In this case, we will load Python. Lastly, you'll want to specify the work you want the cluster to perform. In this case, I'll be running a Hello World Python program. You can submit the job using the sbatch command, followed by the name of your shell script. Once the job is submitted, you can track the progress of the job using the sAccount command. Once the job is completed, you can view the generated output files for any information about the progress of your job. In order to begin an interactive job, you'll want to use the sinteractive command. In this command, you can specify the resources required for your job including the number of cores, the amount of memory, the partition you would like to run on, etc. Once submitted, the cluster will work on finding you the requested resources. Once the job has started, you will begin working interactively on a CURC compute node and can run jobs as you would on any Linux command line interface. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial about submitting basic jobs. For more information, please visit our website, documentation, or contact us at rc-help at colorado.edu.